All right, welcome back everybody. The Minecraft grind continues after the holidays. I know, I know. I didn't expect to take a six or seven day break. Olaf didn't feed you, did he? I gotta say, this has been the most hectic my holiday season has ever been. That is my excuse this time. <laughs> I've just been traveling all over the place, meeting new people and just celebrating the holidays with all the family and the girlfriend's family. It has been fun, I can say that for sure. I can say I got some pretty nice gifts. My best gift, I'd probably say. Huh, let's think. My girlfriend got me the Witcher books. I am excited to read those. And my brother j decided out of nowhere to give me a PlayStation 5. <laughs> so I'd say that's the best one. So I finally have a new console, which is pretty crazy. Tell me down below, what is your favorite gift you received? I actually want to know. I'll read them. Ah, what is there to do today? Add age to the house, wasteland engine, wasteland gold spot, lab infection, or lab fence. Ooh. I think I'm gonna pick between these today, and I actually want to start off with adding age to the house. It's been a little bit since we've done that. As you can see, over time, we slowly add leaves and stuff, but this time we're gonna be changing something we have never changed, and that is the house itself. As you can see, all the wood blocks are still the same. All the terracotta is still the same. Same as the glass. Oh, hi, Caesar. How about we run through and replace some of these blocks with some blocks that make it look a little bit corroded and maybe even make the glass look dirty. I'm gonna start right here. I need to clean up, oh my God. I need to clean up some of these vines. Starting with this, I always have to, ah, uh. How do I get up there? Ah. Ah. Oh, I guess I can just climb them. Can I do this? Ah. Dang it. Ah. There we go. Oh no. I say, let's add age to the house, yet here I am, taking vines away. <laughs> so I spent some time in my test world, and I decided the moss block and concrete will be the best. Yeah, just green concrete that I do not have. Sand, gravel, green, boom chukalaka. No, I don't need that. Ah, I need brown dye. Where's my brown dye? I have no brown dye. Luckily, I have some growing right here. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I'll regret this, but these are the blocks I'm going to use. So I'm going to use brown stained glass and green stained glass to make the place look a little dirty. I'm just going to replace some glass every once in a while. But this block, for example, let's, uh... Oh, hey, Toby. How you doing? See how this looks? Oh, gosh. Do you know how old these blocks are? I just broke one of the oldest blocks placed in this game. How about those... And then around it, like this, we will place some concrete. It looks interesting. So basically it looks just like more moss growing throughout the house. Huh. Maybe we can change the window to green. Ooh, this is going to be a tough decision. I don't know if I like that. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is stick to adding green stained glass to areas where moss is covering my house and then brown more in just the random areas. I think this is an okay look. It adds a little bit of variety to the windows, makes it look like I don't clean the place. That doesn't look right. Oh, it's this table. Yeah. In here, for example, got some more just dirty glass everywhere. I think it's an okay look. I actually really like this. It's very subtle. I'm going light on moss blocks. I'm mainly doing concrete, but as you can see, uh, it almost looks as if this is the clean version and this is the dirty version, but that would be a huge process to replace all this with like concrete and then go back through and place this. So I could almost do half and half, but I'm literally just adding in splotches like this everywhere. And you don't really notice it until you run by. It's just like in your peripherals and looks like just some texturing. As you can see, the windows are all getting dirty too. I actually really like it. And yes, I'm about to fix these trap doors once and for all. <laughs> Uh, I think this is going to add a lot of character to the house. But trust me, I have lots of areas to cover. Like, lots. Well, as you can see, I decided to get rid of my sweet berry farm. Um, I, I never eat these things. They're just here. It was here for looks, mainly. But it didn't look good. Simple as that. So, I created a circle of rose bushes here. And I think I am going to surround it with leaves like this. 
Yeah, I think that'll do good. And then I'm gonna do another patch right here of, of lilacs and peonies. And I'll probably do another one right here and maybe another one over here. I think this will look good. I don't have a lot of bone meal though, so does this still work in this game? Oh, thank God. All right, cool. Using fortune on flowers kind of feels like you're cheating. Oh, hey, Bob. What you got? Whoa, what the? Why are llamas still invisible? I don't get it. <laughs> I I went a little overboard, but it I think I really like it. What do you guys think? This is my flower field. I'm going for somewhat a similar style of my sunflower field, but I'm mixing in all the too tall flowers. It's still got a lot of work. It's not finished yet. I don't know what the finished product is going to look like. I feel like I did too much, but then... Actually, it started off with just those two and one, like, right there. But then I just kept expanding. And then I added a pathway through here. I could even do more right there, but I'm, I feel like I'm comfortable with this. So as you can see, I am adding a pathway through here. And I love that you can put these flowering azalea in the ground next to moss blocks. And it actually looks like just flowered grass. So I'm going to do my best to do that through here and just pretty it up a lot and, uh... See what we can come up with. And finally fix those trap doors on the windmill. Oh, a lead. Worst part about scaffolding, I tell you what. Uh, oh my god. It's like, I don't want to scaffold. Ah, oh, I hate scaffolding. I hate scaffolding. It will always be the worst block in the game. Looks cool. Has a few uses, but right here, I have no blocks in my inventory. I'm just so screwed. Like, I can't. Fine, I'll do it. And now I don't have enough to put one right here. <gasps> Can I borrow one? I'll take you. No, I need that. Okay, I'll take you. No, I need that. Okay, I'll take you. Go there. Okay, that's all I wanted. <laughs> oh, scaffolding, man. <laughs> all right, our windmill's fixed. Oh, no, it's not. There's trap doors in the back. <sighs> no. <laughs> all right, there we go. Fixed. I've been working on this a little bit, made the doors a little bit bigger. I like using trap doors like this to make it look like the door's open. Looks inviting. If you remember this, this is our old little shed here. Just added in some chains, some tools on the walls. I like it. Maybe we can make this the little shed that tends to these gardens. This right here might not fit the vibe over here anymore. It's just a dead little crop section. But honestly, I don't know if I need to make this any bigger. Perhaps I could put one where Bob is standing right now. All right, I'm happy with it. I think this looks way better than that little tiny sweet berry farm <laughs> right there. See, I didn't want to go overboard. I could have put some right here, more here, all up through there, over there, but I think that would be a little bit too much. I like it looking a little bit patchy, like I decided to put some over here. The last one I put is right there, peonies, and I went through and added in a bunch of moss blocks. I could come through here with bone meal and add in some grass, but I kind of like this look. It's just flat and well-maintained. Now, I do have a fence down here, as you can see. What did I use? Stripped spruce and then spruce slabs. Although I don't have enough room right through here. I wanted to add a fence around it in most Probably like right through here. I'm not moving these tracks. These are some really OG tracks. Hey, this was a fun little build. Let's move on to something else. Always the best part. Hey, that looks pretty cool on the map. Like I said, I gotta add on to this every episode, and then maybe eventually it will be done. I think this will put a dent in it. Okay, so I just got back from the donation crypt. I guess that's what we're gonna call it, the donation crypt? Sure. But, uh, good lord, there's some... There's some very generous people for the holidays. Uh, I'll <laughs> go thank all of them at the end of the video. We still got some stuff to build today. If we check my little journal here. Um, okay, flower field is done. I like it. Now these other things I've been really thinking about. I, I have this lab fence idea. Let's go give it a shot. So what I'm thinking... Uh, that... Oh! Now, I'm not gonna get distracted by getting mob heads. I can do that later. What am I looking for? We have hardened clay in this game. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, oh, I opened it. I need cyan. All right, that is a great looking block. Get a couple stacks of that. Oh no. But the one thing I know I don't have a lot of is 
What? I have one? You gotta be kidding me right now. Please tell me you're kidding me. Please tell me I have a shulker box or something full of these things. You can craft them, but you need blaze rot. Oh, there's more. I should do for... Ah, uh, I'll do for now. We need one more ingredient for this build, and that is iron. Wow, I only got 35 out of two and a half stacks of iron. They need to rework that recipe. That is too expensive. I want to build one right here, but I feel like it's going to conflict with my industrial build, having one right here, because it's a somewhat futuristic looking fence. So, oh, I can sleep through this. Good. Okay, maybe I will put one. It's just not flat here. We need dirt. Lots of dirt. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, I'm skilled. There's got to be dirt in here, right? Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't even think of this. There's so much dirt in here, and I've been needing dirt for the wasteland. Too bad all these chests got split in half and lost all the stuff in them. I miss working in here so much. It's just that weird lighting error is really putting me off from this place. Let's see here. I'm going to say I want it about right here. Okay, so these are going to be the posts. They're going to be two wide, and they're going to be three tall, just like this. And I think on the top, I think this will match the lab colors perfectly. Just like that. And the fence is going to be just like this. Ooh, I like it already. And it gives off light too. What do you guys think? I think if I surround the entire lab with that, that'll be perfect. I don't know if spiders can crawl over this. They could probably squeeze through that, but I'm not entirely sure. I love the way it looks. Well, that's all the end rods I had, but that's the idea. I could even make these gaps longer. They don't have to be too wide. I'll mess around with it more. I was in my test world. I think those look a little bit better if the end rods are four wide, so I'll probably do that instead. But anyway, over to Enderman. The Wasteland. Not this, this is no man's land, but I'm thinking about merging the two, just slowly transitioning it to that nasty bit. This place is always on my mind on what I want to turn it into. As you can see, we tried building a house. Over here, we're making it look like we're deforesting it, as if this was part of a forest. But I just want to turn this place into just, well, like it's called, a wasteland. I want gadgets to be out here, almost as if I treat this like a giant trash pit. So what I'm wanting to do, I want to drop somewhere a giant engine, similar to the turbines I made in the lab and my house. This one's going to be a little bit different. I like the design on this one. I'm going to build it somewhere out here, a little bit into the ground, and I want to make it look abandoned as if we just plopped it out here because we didn't want to work on it anymore. So I'm going to find a spot and see if I can make it look good. <laughs> going to need some copper. This is what it looks like so far. I'm going to make it pristine, obviously, first, and then we'll damage it up and whatnot. Ooh, actually, now that it might, I'm going to make it look like a hazardous spot, too. So I'll make it look like some liquids are around here. Okay, got the whole outer shell built. That's the way it turned out. Oh, God, it looks so cool. I almost want to implement this in my other mechanical builds. Maybe we will, but this one in particular is broken. Shut up. So I'm going to actually create a little inside. You know what I thought? And I still want to have this idea of some sort of wastelander type people that live out here and live off of the scraps that I pour and dump here. I want to create a little civilization somewhere. We might do that. And I was thinking I could turn the inside of this into like one of their little houses, make it look really nasty in here. I might do that. I'm going to make it look like wires are hanging down and just it's been ripped to pieces real quick. Okay, so I went with it looking gutted and making it look like someone lived in there. So I want some bamboo slabs here to make it look like it's like custom made to help them get in. But uh, I really like how it turned out. I just made it look like a mechanical mess. Chains going everywhere, pulley systems, buttons, levers, pipes, all kinds of things. Make it look like there used to be something like a big thing in the middle, like a turbine that turns this. Got pistons up there, but it's gutted. Just got a bed and a little table with some food. Looks good. I could hang down some banners right here to make it look like some sort of door, but I like it being open. Now on the outside. Ugh. I'm going to try to think of something to put around here. Don't have a ton of ideas, but I want it to look like it's just a nasty place. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's all I got so far. I like how it turned out. I just went around and added in some 
mycelium around it, make it look like that's whatever material it's leaking. Some rooted dirt, and I threw some glow lichen all over it. I think that really ages it. Cobwebs, what else? Sea pickles, hanging root. Obviously, there's a lot more that could be done. This is just what I whipped up right now. Might change this. I don't really like that bamboo there, but this is so cool. This makes me want to create like just a giant junkyard and make it look like people live in the junkyard, you know? Let me know your thoughts on that, everybody. Well, I'm going to clean up and get out of here. Ah, oh, today was a fun episode. We built some pretty cool stuff. We got a new flower field. We got a little engine out in the middle of nowhere. What else we do? We aged the house a tiny bit. Actually, a lot for me. It's just not that noticeable. Um, but today's comment question comes from a donation, actually, from Hunter Rigdon. Would you ever consider visiting your subscribers' worlds slash realms and rate them? Yes. Actually, I really want to do this. I sometimes get invites and I randomly join them sometimes. I don't even think a lot of people notice because it doesn't tell them if I've joined it or not. I don't know if it does. I just run around on there sometimes and just check it out. But I would actually like to make a video about this. So if you want a chance of your world being showcased on my channel, uh, just shoot me an invite. I'll probably join some random ones. I'm not guaranteeing that I will tour yours, but if you shoot Dallas Man 65 an invite on Bedrock Edition, um, I'll probably get the invites on the home screen on here, and maybe I'll turn that into a video. No promises though. Maybe. Okay, slight promise. Not a big promise. Now, to end the episode, I of course want to thank my donors. Uh, this is kind of become a ritual of my world and I really like it to be honest with you because uh, you guys really support my channel and I love being able to show you guys off in this world. What'd you do, Bat? Why'd you do that? So we got some <laughs> pretty generous donations and we got a lot of work to do in here. I will say that for sure. And I think it's going to start next episode. I have this, I just can't stop thinking about it. I have this room design I don't want to talk about it. It's just going to be a next episode, most likely. And we got to start making rooms for these people. I want to thank Hunter Rigden for a very kind donation. It's very much appreciated. Oh, you're the one that got the comment question. We also got, uh, <laughs> look at this. Bridger Godfrey with a massive 200 donation. <laughs> you did not have to do that. You guys seriously do not have to do this. And Zebulon Cummings with a massive donation as well. Oh my gosh, guys. I tell you what, you guys surely made my holidays a whole lot better. I also want to thank Pokey Smith for a very kind donation. Same as Tamer Al Sale. Al Sale. We're not done yet, though. Oh, you guys are just crazy. Jacob Huff <laughs> with a huge donation. Thank you so much. You're very much appreciated, Jacob. Hunter Rigdon back again with another donation. This is like your third one. You don't have to do this. I appreciate it. And Riff's Bedrock Adventure. I mean, this is becoming a ritual for this dude. You know what? I'm going to do that. I am going to add more gold to your th I just have to. Or we can continue expanding your tomb. Oh yeah, and you still got to be the mayor of our city. And then a small donation from Burgerman1991. Thank you so much, Burger. Appreciate it. What? What? Did I miss something? What'd I miss? Yeah, a donation from Burgerman. Thank you. I appreciate it. What? Oh, there's three zeros on the end. Pfft. What on earth, Burger Man, 1991? And you left a very kind message. Like, I literally don't even know how to respond to this. That is the most insane donation I've ever got in my life. You're right up there with Riff's Bedrock Adventure now. <laughs> and Casey McClara, and I've got a few others that are way up there. That is definitely what I'm going to be working on next. This one's going to go to Casey. I think this one will probably be... Burger Mans. <laughs> I'm gonna do a few more down the line. This haul is probably gonna be pretty long. Holy smokes! A 1k do- Jesus! As you can see, all of you made it on the wall here. Uh. 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 I've lost all motor function and thinking ability to process this one. Burger. I mean, what can I say? That's absolutely nuts. I'm going to have to build something insane for you. Actually, I kind of have an idea. Uh, so we'll probably get to that next episode. Thank you all so much. This is just nuts how much you guys have been supporting me and this world. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you everyone for your generous donations. We're going to kick things off with some really cool builds next episode. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.